Um, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone, depending where you are located in the world. My name is Kimberly, and I'm the Academic Advisor at Hospitality Academy, and I'll be hosting today's lecture. Thank you all so much for being here today at Hospitality Academy's guest lecture featuring Marta Odrevska. Marta is the... <laughs> Sorry, is that your... I said perfect pronunciation ah, of my okay. story. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Marta is the founder of Ida Life and a notable expert in the hospitality industry with over 10 years of experience in the field. And she is here today to share her extensive knowledge with you. If you have any questions during the lecture, please make sure you write them in the chat box and she will answer them at the end. I will now pass the floor to Marta, who will begin the lecture about responding to online negative reviews. Thank you very much, Kimberly, for your uh, beautiful introduction. I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, for making it today. Um, it is a big honor to uh, to give a guest lecture for uh, Hospitality Academy. Um, and let's start with our topic. It's um, actually one of my favorite topic, responding to negative reviews. Uh, same as uh, handling complaints, because everyone everyone is kind of don't know how to approach. And, you know, this is a challenging topic because everyone knows how to make the guest happy. It's not a problem to make a guest happy. The problem is how to handle a guest that is not happy. Therefore, this is my favorite topic. Uh, I'm going to present you a um, few tips and solutions what can be um, implemented in your hotels or in your future experience. I don't say it 100% works because nothing works 100% in hospitality, but definitely this will allow you to uh, in future develop your own way of handling negative reviews. This is my way of handling them. So far, they've been effective. Um, I involved a couple of my uh, befriended expert hoteliers and general managers to also give some feedback and give some advice. Um, first of all, um, what I wanted to say is that um, we are all reviewers. We all review constantly. We are not even aware, but we judge. Uh, we judge people. We judge services, products. We, um, we have our own opinions. And the same happens with our guests. We review our guests. That's interesting thing that we, we tend to review our guests when they're entering in with the same standards. They are reviewing us when they are coming in. If I came to you, to your restaurant or to your front or front desk, and I just said, espresso, what would you think? You would think uh, no eye contact, uh, not even a smile. Wow, she doesn't speak much. That's rude. Not, not, not a good morning, not a greeting, no nothing. And basically the same happens when the guest enters the hotel. He judges you with the same standards as we judge them. Our hotel standards very often are exactly equal with the one that guests judge us. That's a quite an interesting thing, I think. 73% um, of clients uh, read business responses regularly when searching for a hotel. That's a lot, I would say. Um, negative reviews can have significant impact um, on uh, consumer behavior, making 92% of consumers less likely to use a business. Uh, perhaps some of you remember, or maybe not, well, I remember when I was studying in university, um, most of the professors uh, were telling us the, um, were telling us about the um, survey done uh, for Coca-Cola in the 80s, saying that one unsatisfied customer will tell nine to 10 customers about the thing that happened. Well, nowadays, the fact is that it is way bigger audience that we think. A regular Facebook user has around 400 friends on Facebook. If you write a negative review, you can calculate how many people will see it. Uh, I love the example of, it's quite an old example, but when uh, YouTube um, kicked in and it was quite popular a few years ago, uh, there was a gentleman who was flying with uh, American Airlines and American Airlines, uh, sorry, United, he flew with United and United broke his guitar. He saw it through the window how they were treating the luggage. 
he was a musician and he was traveling with his band. He, he made a song about it. Guess how many people saw the song these days? You can still Google this song uh, on YouTube. It, it's called United Break Guitars. It is 16 million people. So you can now imagine how far a negative review can go. Um, why do guests leave negative reviews? Why do guests complain? Why why we tend to 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 go with why we tend to share the negative things um, rather than the good things? First of all, it's way easier to find something bad than something good. To find something good, you have to take some effort. To find something bad, there is no effort. Just bad mood is enough to help us find something negative. There are main three reasons why guests uh, write negative reviews about our business. First of all is venting. They feel no genuine engagement from the team or management. There, were also, uh, there was also a survey done uh, by, um, forgive me for not remembering who did the survey, but there were four reasons why customers leave the company. There was location, there was um, uh, one more reason, there was the service or the product, and the fourth one was lack of engagement of the staff. And that was the biggest influence why customers leave the business. It was around 43, uh, 53 or 58% why people leave our businesses. So venting, they feel no genuine engagement from the team or management. This is massive. That's why they leave the negative reviews. They have no one to release or even share simple things that they are lacking in our service or perhaps a product. Second thing, it's warning others. They felt business is run untrustworthy. This is when people like sharing their uh, comments if they find something is really wrong. And the third reason is helping the hotel. Uh, we, when we are receiving negative comments, we, uh, we always think that someone um, wants to hurt us, is doing it on purpose. Of course, lots of guests do leave negative comments to gain some freebies or some, uh, something else. They want discounts or vouchers to come back. This happens, of course, yes. But... Um, but I do believe that lots of guests really want to help the business, especially if these are the repeat guests. Um, they feel like they can contribute to our business for improvement. They feel maybe they can support the staff to get something done for them to, to appreciate them. So it's not only um, self-serving, but it's also altruistic. Um, now, what is the damage after a negative review? Of course, it is massive because the audience is big. However, let's, let's, let's focus what happened. Negative reviews can have a major impact on clients' behavior, making 92% clients less likely to use the business. This is major, 92% less likely to use our hotel. Second thing is overall star rating drops down uh, and it's still the primary factor of choosing a hotel. And I have a, a funny story. I mean, it's not really funny, but actually it is. <laughs> I have a story regarding um, the star ratings. So in one of the forums uh, of hoteliers, I found one post. Um, a hotelier shared his story saying, uh, we had a guest, he was complaining about the location and the parking charge, and he left us a negative review, which was very harmful for our rating. So what did I do? So I called the guest, I was nice, and I asked him why did he give us such a bad rating, and if he could change the rating, because we cannot change the location. Um, it's a quite long story. However, to make it short and to give you the result, what happened is uh, after the phone call of the business owner, the guest left a second review. He left first one on TripAdvisor and the second one on Facebook. 
And he, he wrote in his second opinion that the manager called asking to improve the rating, not even interested in engaging and perhaps inviting back and helping, but he called just to change the rating, not really for the purpose of the comments. Um, third thing, around 75% of clients read company responses regularly when searching business. It is no longer one dissatisfied customer and telling nine to 10 potential clients. It is every single person that reads it. If you, if you want to know my, my personal story, whenever I Google a hotel, wherever I travel to exotic places, I always uh, first search uh, their search engine. I look for cockroaches and air conditioning broken. These are my uh, keywords to, to search. And then, and then I do See, I do look for responses of the business owners if they did something about it or not, because if they didn't, I'm not going there. <laughs> um, and the fourth thing is negative reviews are posted across different portals and can result into up to a 70% loss of potential guests for hotel. Um, there is a Harvard Business Review study, which uh, after the uh, our um, short lecture, you will be sent the PDF where you can click the link and uh, familiarize yourself with this study. But it says that managing responses to bad reviews can actually generate more bookings in the future. And this is a great message for us. This is our hope that we will be right now looking how to develop and how to use it. Um, so what is the opportunity? Because everyone says that uh, there is a massive damage. Of course, there is a massive damage. And some of you perhaps already have some experience in hotels. Some of you will be having the experience. We all know, especially in luxury hotels, when there is a negative uh, review, uh, all the management is sitting in a the boardroom. They're talking about this review. There is an inspection. There is checking CCTV cameras, finding who, what, when, uh, basically like a true detective uh, series <laughs> on the crime scene, <laughs> which is good, but sometimes maybe um, less pressure would be would be better. That's for future general managers. Um, but yes, we, we feel hurt. We feel unfair. Um, the morning briefing is all about it. We want to know who did the mistake. When did it happen? We want to know everything about it in order to later be able to reply to the guest. My approach is that um, rather they're searching um, for fault and blame, let's search for the lesson that is in it because every negative comment is a massive gift. A uh, lot of hotels invite mystery shoppers and they pay a lot of money for that. Uh, they invite raters to, to, to check where we are. Um, where it depends, um, I, 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 I usually work with, uh, in my experience, we work with Forbes Travel Guide and LQA, because for us, these are the two companies that are um, the most trustworthy and they also provide uh, solutions. Uh, additionally, their standards are basically worldwide. It's not, and their their um, raters are well trained on these standards. So, just in future, I do recommend. However, instead of investing in small companies offering mystery shopping, I always say that the guest is the best mystery shopping, and I joke that the best mystery shopper is your uh, hotelier, a competitor from a, from a hotel next door. Invite them for a free stay. They will make a beautiful review of your hotel. We point out every single mistake complimentary. Um, so let's treat uh, the negative review as a massive gift and a feedback where we are. First of all, it is a chance to review some existing issues, processes, and implement and update training or solutions. It's a massive, massive gift, and it's complimentary. Secondly, it is a chance to apologize and connect with the guests. Um, there, is no, there is no bigger and better situations to turn a guest into ambassador than first having a failure with them and then successfully turning them around. This is when we gain trust and trust is one of the most expensive thing to gain. 
third thing is the chance to invite the guest back and present how we have improved um, what was the issue or allow the guest to experience the memorable service we pride ourselves for because we do pride ourselves for a memorable service. Fourth thing is that 70% are more likely to use a business that responds to a negative reviews. It is an opportunity to regain trust and be transparent with the guest. And I think that transparency is something that lots of uh, hotel, as far as negative reviews are concerned, they lack transparency. They forget about it. Um, here is another interesting uh, survey that I would like you to familiarize yourself with after the, um, after the class. TripAdvisor said that the vast majority, 89% of users said a thoughtful response to a negative review improved their impression of a business and 90% of respondents said that seeing polite and respectful responses to reviews make them believe the owner truly cares. We go back where we know that we will be well looked after and we, we want to trust where we go. 